How? Oh man, I screwed up the intro. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Root of the Null here, coming back at you with Python tutorials through the roof. And uh, this time we're actually going to take it a little bit easy in this tutorial. I'm not going to do a whole lot of stuff. I just want to introduce this function to you guys. And the function's name is is uh, ba, ba, is archive or like is zip. Let's check it out in the yeah <laughs> in the documentation. The function's name is is zip file. So um, it's not part of any object. It's just part of the module. So if I hop over, we can just run is zip file, and that will just return a boolean value as to whether or not the file name that we pass into it is a zip file. So uh, let's pass in the file name. This should return true, and boom, there it is. The function returns true. So this is really interesting because if we actually created a, a zip archive that was created without the um, without the zip file module, what it does is it tells us that no, dude, this isn't a zip file. WTF are you saying? So let's let's try this. If I actually open a zip file. And I'm going to create one uh, that's empty. Actually, I don't want to do that. I might overwrite what I have here. Um, shopping example. Okay. So if I run this, now we've created uh, the shopping example. I'll show it to you guys in my, uh, in my folder here. Yeah, we can see shopping example right over there. But it's telling me that, dude, that's not a zip file. What the heck is that? Um, so... It's not going to work for us, and the way the reason that it does that is just because that I mean, it's not being created with a specific magic number. If I run this, I actually have to create it. My B, my B, y'all. If I run this, it still tells me false because we actually haven't written over it yet. If I actually rm shopping example, now if I run this, it's not going to tell me anything else. Zip archive. We have to actually close the file before it tells me that, yeah, that is one I'm thinking. Yeah, now if I close it, it knows that, okay, yeah, this is actually a, a real a real zip file. So, alright. That's just what I was saying. If you open it with the real Python file descriptor, like opener, and you just give it a .zip file um, file extension, it's not actually going to be a real zip archive. You actually need to open it up with the zip file module and the, the object constructor. So the way that it does that is it returns true if the file name is a valid zip file based on its magic number. Now, I'm not a zip file expert. I have not gone through four years of college studying zip files. I have not dedicated my life to it. Um, but I don't know what a magic number is, and uh, honestly, I'm sorry, I can't tell you, but if you are interested, dude, Google is your best friend, and uh, I'm sure it'll be able to tell you know, let you know what is the magic number of a zip file. But anyway, I just wanted to introduce this function to you guys. Is zip file, all it does is it tests whether or not this is a valid zip archive. So, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next tutorial.